example this is part two here i'm going to show you how i'm going to give a cell a boost a power boost a current boost here we see two super caps um 400 farad i've got two of them parallel they are old they are bad they are discharging as you look at them so they're really really bad i bought them in china from well you know anyhow they still provide power ha huh. again it's dropping like mad the battery cells i'm going to give you an example by powering one which is easily accessible so i'm going to start out with this one because the leads can be put on over here i don't need to explain that the big piece of metal you can see is the minus and the smaller one is the plus so let's put it this way i'm going to put the plus on this side and the minus on the other side and you'll see the voltage drop down significantly if when i will tap it i'm not sure if there's any glare so i'm going to move a little bit i'm tapping it gone so i'm now at 2.55 volts let's do it again tap it i'm pushing it really hard I'm not, i don't want to lose any power because of resistance as you can see it drops down to 2.49 volts let's do it again and again and again i know i know it doesn't get warm yet um let's see if there's another one i can reach yes this is the minus this is the plus i'm going to do the same i'm going to put a minus terminal and the plus we are at 2.39 applying voltage sorry current and let's go we dropped 80 um well zero point zero eight volt that's not much let's give it another boost and another one that should do it okay let's keep some power in the caps let's see what happened with the charge well this is what i aim for it started out as zero volt because it didn't want to keep a charge and now it's over 1.3 volts which is a nice standing voltage to be at most of these cells will drop to 1.2 volts so um, it's not too strange if it's going to be lower and lower yeah, I'm just only boosting it at the moment oops well uh, you could see it maybe in a flash 1.31 volts and believe me they were zero when i started um, maybe i can show you this one here it has a plus at the top which is this terminal oh huh. actually this one still has some voltage 1.18 volts but still i can give it a boost so it will charge a lot better okay i'm going to push really hard on this one and on this one what happens voltage drops and as you can see it drops about two tenths of a volt 0.2 volts meaning the internal resistance is not that high which is good because the lower the internal i should say the high, yeah well high and low um maybe uh, the wrong words to use the resistance shouldn't be bothering us as we would lose 
power on it. Um, this one here is the minus. It seems to go over here. And I see the downside of this one will actually be the plus. Its voltage is zero. Nothing there. So let's try and tap it with a power boost. We are now at 2.13. We dropped 0.3 volts, so it has a high internal resistance. I'm letting it go. I'm going to tap it a couple of times, like this, and more. So I'm just I'm working on my guts now. I I really don't know how long I should tap it. I'm just fooling around, playing around, because, well, it's a long way to rejuvenation. It takes a couple of times the same process. If I would just empty my caps in one of these batteries, it would get really hot, because super caps have an enormous power you wouldn't believe. Well, okay, take off the super cap, test the battery again, 1.38, 1.37, whatever, that's good. So, I've showed you um, how I did three of these batteries, um, I can show you, well, it's not that hard, you can access these other batteries as well. Just take off the car cardboard, which is here. You can see the plus, it's inside there, so put the terminal in there. It has 1.14 volts, which is not bad. Let's give it a shock, a power shock. <laughs> Let's boost it. It's a little bit difficult to push this terminal, so let me do it again. 1.93 volts, 1.74. So it's dropping less than 0.2 volts, meaning internal resistance isn't bothering us too much. It's got a fair internal resistance, meaning it will re rejuvenate quite easy. I think and I hope. Well, that's enough for this one. Let's see if the top, yes, this one connects to this one, so I can put my minus probe, terminal probe, whatever you call it, on this one, and I will go to the next cell. Let's have a look if it has any power. Zero, zero, zero. Let's check it. Yes, I'm connecting to the top. Okay, let's put some power on it. One, two, three, here we double check, plus, minus. Okay, so always be sure, you don't want to ruin the battery. 1.8, and it doesn't have a really high internal resistance, meaning it's um, in that way also not going to take a charge, because you do need to have some resistance in there. And as my super caps are dra draining, I'm more confident to give the boost to the cell for a longer period of time because um, you're not going to blow up these batteries with a lower voltage like it's now, it's 1.6 volts roundabout. I'm not going to blow up any batteries with it. So I can keep it on there for 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And I'm actually feeling if it's getting warm or not. Because it will get warm. Well, not yet. Okay. For now, this is the first step. Um, you can do it any way you like. You can take a piece of paper, write down all you did, all the voltage, all the 
voltage um, per cell and, and every time keep record of it uh, which is a good way but I'm not going to do it I uh, like to do it quick and easy because I've done a couple of these already and I know if this method which I'm showing you in three parts is working um, then if the, b if the battery is rejuvenated after a couple of times it's okay and if not well you 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 just throw away the cells which are bad and keep the healthy ones for other projects. I don't want to make this video too long. This was part two. In part three, I will show you how I'm going to spike with high voltage um, for a longer period of time and uh, do some more on the internals. Well, I don't know what's happening exactly, but the crystals will um, dissolve and the chemicals will be better to take a new charge. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Let's go to part three. See you there.